housing. Uh, a home is more than like roof over your head. It's a place to raise your family, a build community, or grow the American dream. It's always like it's always the biggest investment and like the biggest like monthly expense uh, that most people ever face. Some 15 years after the subprime mortgage uh, crisis, the investment and how devastated at homeowners uh, have and froze con construction. And, and froze construction nationwide. We're still seeing the effects of the severe housing shortage that likes pushing up prices and keeping homes on reach. The reason why housing prices are, are what they are because like how homes are not bought and sold for their use value, they're bought and sold for their exchange value. Is do you have a housing market? When you have a housing market, you uh, and houses being bought and sold for the exchange value, not the use value. That's how you get like six times as many people as homes as you are, have homeless people. Because, you know, those houses are owned and the owners have the right to just deny access to those houses to anyone. I got I got like several comments on threads uh, the one time and from people basically saying, saying that like no housing is not a human right. People have to like work in order to have a house. I don't know how those people feel about the disabled people who can't work. Yes, I bet some of those people would think that, like, no, disabled people can still work, and if they want a the house, they have to, like, work for it. Uh, but again, like, we have, like, so much pointless work, because look at the new car graveyard, part of the overproduction of pack and capitalism. And then, like, someone said, no, shelters are human right, but houses are not. What's the difference between shelters and, like, houses? And a person clarified that shelter is, like, a tent a lean-to, a cardboard box, uh, or just, like, being underneath, like, a, a bridge for, like, a rainy day, night as well, too. And, but, yet, yeah, in cities, like, in my city, Seattle, they put up, like, chain-link fences in those underpass areas underneath bridges to prevent people from sleeping underneath those bridges. The act of uh, private property is not said, I own this, so what, that this is my land. The act of private property is more to, like, restrict the land use from someone. The act of private property is to say, you can build, put a tent here. Or kick people, like, out of the area. Or if they say, that, like, no, I own this river. See, I got this, like, document say I got the rights to this river, this section of the river. You can't fish from this river. It's thus, like, uh, several tech people from Honduras, indigenous people in Honduras, had to, like, immigrate up to here because they couldn't, weren't able to fish. Because someone else owned the rights to the river. That's private property for you. This concept of private property as well, too. Is a way to like, kick people out. It's a way to like uh, also restrict people access to those things as well too. It's a way to like deny people like access to housing. But anyway, uh, President Biden has taken historical steps to help Americans rent, buy, and build. Uh, in like the depth of the pandemic, we're still in the pandemic, by the way. Uh, the American Rescue Plan uh, kept uh, eight million families in their homes nationwide by preventing foreclosures and evictions. Yeah, they were, uh, but those uh, protections got lifted once the pandemic was over we're still in the pandemic uh since then the administration has like a ease like a, a rise in rents by captain and rents hike in like two million by federally funded like a, a, in two million federally funded apartments okay how about you own older apartments and then cap the like a uh, rents not just rent hikes but rents period on all those apartments then what you don't want to do that and it's 200 federally funded apartments sounds low honestly um it led to the biggest expansion of rental assistance for low-income families in 20 years. That that's a low bar. If you're being, if you're celebrating this 200 million family funded like uh, apartments, uh, capping rent hikes as well too. Again, you seem to own this sort of thing. And the just people in Canada and the USA are kicked out for like being and able to do their own things. And and if a corporation finds out that there's valuable shit in that land, they'll bribe the government to get it. Yep. Or like in the history of like USA and Canada as well too. Uh, the, the like the the like the settlers and the colonizers that came to like these lands, the Lakota people they had to deal with the Lakota people at first, and they signed a treaty as well too, that like the Lakota people was allowed to kill keep the Black Hills. But once they discovered the gold was in the Black Hills, like just a few six years later or something like that, then the white settlers, uh, white colonizers and settlers decided to just like screwed that treaty, ignore it, and then took over the Black Hills, and now the Black Hills is Mount Rushmore. And a lot of people do want it back. Give her this four white supremacists on the Black Hills. Um, 
continue on. It's cracking down on slum wards who don't uh, play by the rules. Administration has reduced mortgage uh, insurance premiums on the federal backed like loans for 700 like thousand homeowners and waived the requirements for title insurance, saving families of up to $1,500 to like re uh, refinance. Uh, the relief is helping more people own homes today than they did before the pandemic. Uh, the, are there only more homes before like 2008? Um, we were like seeing fewer foreclosures than any other time in the decades. But Democrats know that the surest way to like bring housing and costs down long term is to build um, a boost uh, supply. Do we? I can understand some areas needing more houses. Some places need more houses. San Francisco doesn't. San Francisco has five times as many like people as homes that they as homeless people. They don't need to build more homes in San Francisco. Some places do. I will get the, of give it that. Some places do, but there's plenty of places that have like plenty of homes. They just have to like give them. The trees are easily broken whenever some shit like gold and oil discovered there because the settlers don't give a fuck. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Sal. Um. So the uh, so the administration is like uh, cutting red tape to help more builders get uh, federal financing. A record 1.7 million new housing units are under construction today nationwide. I'm curious about how uh, that. Because here's the thing I've read in an article. I don't remember where it's from. Maybe it's from Fox. But gen but basically, those contractors that are building housing units, they are also for profit, and so they want to make profits. And so they want to do things that will make the most profits. And so what kind of contract will make them the most profits? Not like any kind of like a project that will, will build them that, where they can build like Section 8 houses or public houses or federally funded houses or federally funded apartments as well too. Because no, that's for the poor people. They don't, that's not a big enough contract, a rich enough contract, well, at least in comparison. And so, like, those contractors are not going to, like, a, a following the profit mode, are not going to build those things as well, too. They're also following the profit mode, they will build, what, luxury apartments. That's how, like, my price, uh, that's how, like, rent's been, like, hiked so many times in, like, Seattle area. A, it's being gentrified to hell. Uh, but B, also, there's so many different, like, luxury apartments being built in Seattle. And that drives up the cost of, like, housing in the area. I don't even live in Seattle. I live in like a suburb south of Seattle. I have to like commute to like 25 miles each day to and from work. And, and I, I don't drive. I take the bus. So it's like at the least time possible, it's an hour and a half commute. Most time possible, it could be two hours or more. Depending on like at what time I leave and what buses are like operational. And if I like catch the buses in like time. Or if I have to like wait for like 15 or 30 minutes for the next one. And my rent's going up like this year too. It's for this three bedroom apartment I'm like sharing with my two brothers. The younger brother who's a fascist and the older brother is still okay. He's a liberal. People who want to dismiss signs on land back that's all settlers get the fuck out. Uh, it isn't that. It's just letting the First Nation and other indigenous to have their rights on their lands and, and then being owned by settlers. Agreed, um, Zal. And people think that's like, oh, wait, but like the indigenous people, the Indians, they get to like open casinos, right? It's like, well, they're semi sovereign nations. They, all the people that like indigenous people that open up casinos uh, in this area, the Tweb Casino, uh, the Snohomish Casino, uh, Makushu Casino. Um, I thought the Elmer Green Casino was just like a non indigenous casino, like a corporate uh, a corporation run uh, casinos. Like, nope, that was indigenous owned casino as well, too. Uh, but they still have to get the approval of the state or the county or the city that they operate in in order to be able to open the casinos as well, too. Again, 70 sovereign nations, they still have to get the approval of the settlers. So it's time to remember that like, today is Sunday and that I, I therefore have a new episode that one I'm pretty curious to watch. So I went off to do that. Well, that makes sense, Lucidia. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, you're probably here the entire time just lurking. That's fine. I'm talking about housing right now. And I go off on the topic of housing because again, when you if it's like the con uh, the construction companies, 
if the construction companies are choosing like what projects that it, it, they worked on, they will work on the projects to make the luxury apartments because those are the most, most profitable like contracts for those companies as well too. So you're going to get like, yes, you're going to build homes, you're going to build housing units as well too, but if like the majority of housing units is just luxury, luxury condos or luxury apartments as well too, how is that like a, a make it easier for like Americans to get their first home or to get the affordable homes when it's all luxury apartments? And, the, and also with like Section 8, as it is right now, it's an opt-in sort of thing. The landlords have to opt into the Section 8, and many landlords, like the landlords who like uh, order for like the, the um, construction companies uh, to like pay for things, they want they don't want like the bums or the poor people to like uh, live their luxury apartments. So they're not gonna like pay to like those to Section 8. So you get like the worst of the worst of slumlords who like to have Section 8, if you're lucky. <sighs> And that's why my friends were on like waiting list for years uh, for Section Eight. There's no, there's pretty much almost no such thing as like public housing in like the, in uh the United States of America, or and also for like special disabled like public housing as well too. I'm not sure if that will mention be a mention of disabled people in this section at all, but like a friend of mine did actually look into like. What if she decided to like take advantage of this like uh section hate or public housing for disabled people some of things where she would be live she'd be living out the middle of nowhere out in the boonies and that's the thing is like all the services that she uses and has to rely on for Medicaid or Medicare are in order to like for her disability services like getting prescription fields or like doctor's appointments that sort of thing that happens in the major city. And by like have to like so in order to like have free housing from the disability like Section Eight housing services, she has to like live out in the middle of nowhere, far away from the big city that has all the services that she has needs and so on that. So how she's going to like get there? So you're screwed either way. Anyway. Uh, going forward, the president has like laid out one of America's most ambitious housing plans in over fifty years. Uh, like you have you know, people be able to use the homes that are remaining empty that no one uses? Oh, no, you're not doing that. Because uh, some of these, the worst part of the Canadian American cities, towns, the division is that the like, cars ruins uh, everything, like in the parts of Europe where they have like mixed districts uh, with the business housing. Yeah. Uh, uh, where they have a legal. Uh, where that's a legal dude car lobby. Yeah. No, the car lobby kind of like destroyed like the public infrastructure in like many places like Los Angeles as well too and fight against uh, like, I bet they, the, the car lobby would fight against like uh, a national like high speed railway across all of like United States of America. Canada too probably. Guys, like, this is not the, uh, uh, I'm only going to speak for the United States of America, I guess, is where I live. This is not the United States of America. This is, like, that our country is actually the purest corporations of white supremacy. Again, purest corporations of white supremacy. We're not the United States. We're in purest corporations. Um... Anyway, uh, back to the Democrats' plans. It expands on rental assistance to like half a million new households, including the to low-income veterans and like young people aging out of foster care. It offers corporate landlords a, a basic choice for the next two years: either cap rents increase at five percent or lose valuable tax uh, federal tax break. How about you have a punishment for like those that like uh, keep like uh, homes empty, like no tax break for them, or force them? And it's back more or less, but only can it get, take so much politics. I understand Lucidia. I understand Lucidia. I can only take so much politics, too. Especially, like, reading all this crap from the Democratic Party. <sighs> but it's like there's no punishment for, like, in the real estate investment firms to be able to, like, keep houses, like, empty. For like years and years and years because it's an investment. Then, like, corporations and then real estate investors will keep doing that. And it will pay for like uh, 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 articles that will say no, it's a good thing for like there to be landlords. Continue on. And it offers uh, like a ten thousand mortgage relief tax credit to the first time home buyers and twenty five thousand in and down payment assistance to buyers from families where like no one has ever like before owned a home. At the same time, the administration is going after unfair rental junk fees and like fees people are charged just to like pay rent online or to receive sorted mail. Uh, and will crack down on corporate landlords who are gouging uh, tenants, for example, by capping the amount uh, they can raise rent and 
and rates of rent each year. And we'll go after the negligent landlords who don't like uh, maintain basic hospitality standards. We also will crack down on those who violate the Fair Housing Act and on landlords who discriminate against low income and, and minority renters and people with like housing vouchers. Um, we are rooting out the uh, we are rooting bias out of the housing appraisal process, uh, which perpetuates the uh, racial you know, wealth gap by unjustified undervaluing millions of black and Latinos homeowners. So no one needs down payments. This housing was cheap. I agree, Zal. Though I feel like it would be good to point out because I'm not sure if you have heard. Okay, yeah, go ahead and share with us, you. Yeah, it's just like the. That's why I hate like some of the proposed policies from like the Democrats on housing as were too. Like whenever it's like tax credit or tax rebates or something like that, then like the people still have to like put up the money at first as well too. Unless like the that's like ten thousand dollars like a mortgage of relief tax credit uh, or this like yeah, or something like that can be like put in an effect instantly where it's just like if this uh, house is like 25000 and then I can take this like mortgage tax relief credit instantly and it's only like charged for 15000 for this house or have to pay 15000 for a house uh, but I don't know if that if they would like set it up like that or that people can like uh, take advantage of that no, it seemed like you still have to like put up the money first and then get the tax relief later. Or like get a tax rebate later. And I hate that kind of system. Uh, continue on. The president now says uh, calls for like funding to help build or renovate two million homes nationwide by expanding the low income housing tax credit for developers to build affordable renting in housing by introducing a new uh, neighborhood house tax credit. The first ever to like, focus on creating affordable housing, uh, not for renters, but for homeowners. It also creates a housing initiative like fund to help state and local governments find new ways to increase supply, and, and like by converting empty office or like hotel spaces to apartments. Plan also encourages state and local uh, efforts to take on the barriers to build the new housing. I don't entirely understand uh, the specifics for how all of this like works because it's law, and I don't have the greatest understanding of all the intricacies of law. But what I understand, recently the president and all future presidents for the forces future have been um, have recently been and remain made immune to like anything. Um, you know, as Alex said on YouTube, and the reality is basically currently non-regulated markets that inflate and bust uh, without any uh, checks as well. So yeah. And that's still there's still no checks on like subprime mortgage as well too as well as well. But the city, I think you were referring to the Supreme Court case that happened like uh, recently that gave for uh, presidents immunity um, from prosecution when they're doing acts uh, when they are doing acts as a president or presidential. But basically, it means that like. Um, Donald Trump cannot be prosecuted for like the his like uh, insurrection on January six, as because he was doing those sort of acts as a president. I think Legal Eagle has the best explanation of like that sort of thing too, and I haven't seen that video. But basically, we're fucked. Um, but like it was such a narrow kind of thing where it's basically saying that like um, it basically worked in the favor of just just like Donald Trump. For the crimes that he was prosecuted, he's being prosecuted under, or for his chan his uh, effort to, to overturn the like uh, uh, the uh, ratification of the 2020 elections. Oh, okay, so I would just go by like Legal Eagles videos and that sort of subject, because uh, like that's the best like I can I understand it as well too. Um. But it's like, it's like, so right now, Trump, if Trump does new crimes as a candidate, president as a candidate, he's not the president. Uh, he can be prosecuted for those crimes. Um, if he does more crimes, basically. And there are some crimes that he did while as a candidate, not the president as well, too. But if like, or even Biden or Harris and say that like, I was doing those things as the duties of my president, uh, being the president as well, too. That's where it's like, then, um... Department of Justice cannot prosecute or bring up those charges as well too, um, in, in those court cases. Yeah, and it's almost like in, in Prince. It's almost like President immunity, where it's like that. Yeah, the president's now above the law. 
Which I don't understand why, like, rebels are just railing, railing, railing. And we got, like, hey, that's why we got, like, vote against Donald Trump. Vote against Donald Trump. And I don't disagree with that. My vote in Washington State doesn't really matter for the president, though. For all other, like, uh, things, it does. But, like, for, like, the president of the United States of America in Washington State, unless it's, like, the numbers are close, like, within 5 or 10 percent, something like that, uh, my vote for, like, who's the president of the United States of America is not going to matter because, like, the Washington State often goes, like, blue. Just because of the, uh, like, uh, Seattle, Tacoma, Everett, Metropolitan area. And nothing else. Um... Okay, so I already read this like a sentence as well, too. Uh, continuing on. Democrats have are dedicated to increasing the supply of an array of like housing options like duplexes, triplexes, and like townhouses that build, uh, that bridge the gap between single-family homes and large apartment buildings by reducing the barriers to building and houses and providing federal tax incentives for like development of housing for people of all incomes who can uh, foster vibrant, inclusive communities where people from like all walks of life can like... Uh, can find affordable and diverse living options. Our workforce houses must also uh, be prioritized to ensure that our nation's teachers, nurses, uh, fighter fighters, and other essential workers can afford to live in communities they serve. Um, as far as I know, that they can be used to just say fuck the Republicans and make things like uh, better for people overall in the U.S. Uh, in the U.S., free healthcare, free education, better education at that, and so on and so forth. But realistically, that's never going. That, that's not going to happen. At least not now. And I don't know, but also, it, it, uh, yeah, I don't know how it's going to happen in the future. I challenged years ago. I still want to constantly challenge liberals on this thing. When are we going to live in a society where Phoenix, Nesneko, Linequin, Joey Finer Leamdeer, and Jordan Roberts never have to bake online in order to live? Never have to bake online to order and live. When are we going to live in that world? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I understand. Yeah, John Brockman was asleep. That's why I'd like to so suggest that alchemy didn't happen as it did. And he was, like, up until, like, 4 a.m. I guess a football game was, like, uh, happening, like, yesterday. Now, hopefully he got, like, a lot of good, like, uh, tips um, for him and things. Um, never at the capitalists uh, have anything to say about it. I agree, which is why I'm not in favor of capitalism. Um, because, like, in, in or capitalism requires poverty in order to function, and so there has to be, like, people that are in poverty, like my friends, and... So yeah, that was like known as a Discord notification. That's all. Um, so workforce housing. There's parts of me that don't like the idea of workforce housing. In some cases, I understand why like workforce housing has to be a thing, like firefighters from being on call. Um, but workforce housing is kind of like almost too much like um like in like sorry to bother with you. Why are you just like work? You live at the factory too. Or like the Foxconn, like where workers live at the Foxconn factories in like um, China. Uh, continuing on, um, we recognize that these workers are the backbone of our society, but they are left to like struggle with housing costs that uh, outpace their income, and um, leaving them unable to live near their workplaces. Okay, how about do two things at once? Raise their, or, or raise their um, wages. Teachers are constantly fighting for like their wages. They're often, like, on strike to do so. And it's, like, it's the, see, it's the government's job for, like, teachers' pay because of, like, the public school system. Same thing with firefighters. You can do something about nurses, too. Oh, so raise their, their rates. And it'll reduce the cost of everything, the cost of living across the board. Yeah, yeah, it's a problem that, like, many people kind of, like, again, I work in Seattle, but I live in Federal Way. I just doxed myself, but that's fine. It's honestly fine. Um, 
I just named the city, so I don't think anyone's going to find me. Uh, we recognize that these workers are the backbone of societies, and they're left. Okay, I already read the part. Democrats will uh, beat these challenges head on by increasing funding for like programs that support the creation and preservation of affordable housing and you know, options for essential workers, as well as like collaborating with the state and local governments to accelerate development of workforce housing, ensuring that our communities remain accessible and affordable for all. I still have an issue with the phrasing of affordable housing, but I said that many times already, so I'm going to continue on. Democrats are working to like help Americans uh, cover other housing-related costs, like utilities. Uh, families are already serving thousands of dollars at, at, with like are saving thousands of dollars for clean energy tax credit, and 23 million households receive free or monthly discounts, saving 30 uh, 75 dollars per month on high-speed broadband and through the largest internet affordable uh, affordability program in history. It expired in May because like um, Republicans forced, uh, refused to act, but Democrats will keep fighting to reinstate it. We will keep working to expand other programs to reduce uh, home heating, cooling, water bills as well, essentially especially in rural areas and to speed the transition towards cheaper renewable energy like solar that will lower people's like uh, uh, bills long term um i mean yeah more like i speed internet to like all places yeah please do uh continue on the administration um is also like leading one of like america's most ambitious efforts to prevent ho homelessness i'll believe it when i see that democrats you have a lot to live up to on that um, based on like housing first policy, it helps like states and cities prioritize like uh, housing as a fundamental step in delivering services, uh, support services and jobs to rebuild lives. The administration can work with Congress and local jurisdictions to increase supportive and interim housing options and the services necessary to help unhoused individuals stay permanently housed. Just give them the empty homes. Just give them the empty homes. There's one for every six homeless people. That's it. It's not that hard. Yeah, it, it's all about like being willing to do that and have the political will to do that, but you're not even going to like present that as an option too. And also that the, the reason why like the, the 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 police budget in all the major cities are kind of like half the city budgets as it is for most of the time is because like as like the author of End of Policing and I said is basically stated is that like the uh, cities give up on like the homeless problem. They're not going to solve it. They're just going to, like, uh, use the police to, like, you know, shoot them away or, like, push them in other places. I mean, I think the Supreme Court just, like, heard a case that have, of, like, a town in Oregon. Again, Oregon. Bastion of, like, a blue progressivism as well, too. Oh, and a town, Bend, Oregon? I forgot which one town. One city wanted to make it illegal for you to sleep outside. And, like, on the ground or in a public park or a bench or something like that. So that they're basically making it illegal to be homeless. Making it illegal to be homeless. So that, like, um, the, the police are just going to arrest homeless people. And that's just going to not solve anything. That's going to continue to perpetuate the problem and just like, make it uh, life shittier for the homeless people, honestly. And uh, crimes of being against being poor has been a thing before. That was happening during the industrial revolution and capitalism. The birth, so at the birth of capitalism, you could argue. Uh, moving on. Instead of trying to like solve the problem, Trump has like made it worse. Uh, it wasn't just Trump. Uh, Trump has never like done anything to like ease the long-standing uh, housing shortage. There's a lot of Democratic like there's a lot of cities that are run by Democratic mayors that also like perpetuate this problem as well too. Seattle definitely for sure. Uh, Houston for sure. There's again most of the major cities kind of like have a large police force just to use to like harass the homeless people as well too and just like kick them out of places, kick them out of park bench. Uh, the city of Seattle put bike racks underneath a bridge that was scheduled to be demolished. So why did the city of Seattle put bike racks underneath a bridge that was like scheduled to be demolished anyway in like a few months? The bike break at someone had to do a four year request, a Freedom of Information Act request, in order to like get the uh, papers to see the reason why the city of Seattle put the bike racks there was just to prevent homeless people from sleeping there. It's hostile design. 
the if you seen happen to see the picture of Ron uh, the of statue of Ron McDonald on like a park bench outside of McDonald's um a restaurant. They think, oh, that's cool and awesome. I get to sit next to Ronald McDonald and take a picture of Ronald McDonald. Yeah, that Ronald McDonald's there is to prevent homeless people from sleeping on those park benches. Whenever you see like um, uh, park benches that like the separation between seats as well too. Oh, I think it's great. There's like kind of like sitting on a bus and what those like uh, things in between hanging the seats as well too. Great. I got my armrests. These armrests are awesome as well too. Yeah, the armrests are there to prevent homeless people from sleeping on those park benches. It's hostile design. And again, they just don't want to solve the problem of like um, how um, homelessness of a uh, house was it. They it, again. The house of people exist in order to like it's to encourage people to like not like they quit their shitty and terrible jobs again i was playing complaining to my dad as i said yesterday i was complaining to my dad about like my shitty pay at my job um and uh how i dislike it as well too my dad pointed to a homeless person and said i bet he has a great life singling i should not complain about my terrible job it, it, it's not that terrible, but like there, there's definitely moments. I should not complain about a terrible job because I could be homeless. The homeless people exist just to so that encourage people to not to uh, continue working terrible jobs or whatever jobs they can get. Um, continue on. Trump has never really done anything to ease America's long-standing housing shortage. I doubt the Democrats will do anything better, though. Maybe better, but not as much. In fact, that he and his allies benefit directly from like house shorts. The higher the rents, the more that uh, he and his like rich uh, real estate friends earn. For decades, he made a career uh, of inflating rents and putting like a uh, uh, home ownership out of like folks' reach. As a landlord, he has like, sued for like a race-based like uh, housing and discrimination, and he is like, accused of like cutting tenants off of water and heat to push them like out and then change new tenants is more. As president, he has tried every year to triple their rents for like low-income Americans and subsidized housing, including the elderly and, and people with disabilities, and to like gut policies that help Black and Latino families and access like fair housing. Now, Trump and his MAGA allies are vowing to like gut President Biden's historical work. Uh, Biden's work was like not sufficient enough, you ask me. Uh, Senate Republicans this spring block a bipartisan bill that will uh, provide like a tax break to build 200,000 more affordable homes. There's plenty of uh, empty homes of now as well, too. I'm sure in some places they probably do need to build homes as well, too. And again, I quibble up the like word affordable here in this context. And they repeatedly tried to like uh, cut affordable like housing and, and rental assistance programs, preferably to protect the tax break for corporate landlords like Trump instead. Um, they will weaken the independent agencies that protect consumers from like rent gouging, and they will uh, make it harder for working families to buy a home and by reinstating higher mortgage insurance premiums. And by financing in Fannie Faye and Freddie Mac, a uh, windfall to hedge funds. 